So what do you think that cap looks like? Because I hear some people who are saying it's about to like rock it up. And then others are saying that it's going to like slowly increase year by year. It's not going to be just a sudden boom. I don't know, Lee. That's a good question. I, I mean, I I don't know. It's it's gonna take. I don't think it's gonna just hit like okay, this is a cap space now. I think it's gonna they're gonna test it gradually. Because mm-hmm. I don't think you can just flip it back up to an exuberant amount of uh, cap space going from after they done shrunk it down significantly. Because teams are cutting players that they probably wouldn't be cutting if the cap space would remain the same. You know what I'm oh, saying? Like right. guys that they probably would want to keep, some guys that they need to keep, but they're just cap hit casualties. Oh yeah, no, this off season is gonna be terrible for veteran players. A lot of players are gonna mm-hmm. get a lot of good players are gonna be underpaid, which is why for one, Tampa Bay is gonna have the opportunity to run it back because they're gonna be able to uh, lowball some of their guys. But I can also see a a Jets, you know having a quick turnaround or the Pats really bouncing back because the Pats have the opt-ins. They, they, they have their quarterback coming back and they have a lot of cap space. Yeah. If you get pieces away, this is, this is a time to thrive. Like this is an off season to thrive in and not yeah. even to factor in the draft. You know what I'm saying? So 